morning everybody. So today we've just left um, Treen campsite where we stayed the night and now we are on our way to uh, Porth Kerno which isn't that far away um, but we have got tickets to the Minak Theatre which is really exciting so we're going to be going there this afternoon um, but before that we're going to try and head to one of the beaches nearby. Um, it's clouded over a little bit so hopefully the sun will show itself for a little bit when we're on the beach um, and yeah excited to see the Minak Theatre. We got tickets to the Minak Theatre. And we we filled up the water tank, so our water tank is full. We emptied the toilet, so we did all the kind of fan duties. Uh, that that means that we're ready to kind of be off grid for the next couple of nights, which is exciting. So um, yeah, you excited for today? Yeah, just hope the sun comes out again. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. So we're just walking along the coastal path which leads to these steps that climb up to the Minak Theatre and we're not going there just yet, we're going to go there this afternoon because we're going to go across to another beach called Porth Chapel. Um, but yeah, we're going to walk past it now and then um, we'll go see how beautiful this beach is hopefully. People in the sea already. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's only like 10 a.m. and it's a bit cloudy this morning, so we're hoping mm. the sun's going to come out later. But yeah, the views are really beautiful from here, up here. So we've just made it down to Porth Chapel Beach, and it's extremely beautiful. But unfortunately, the weather's got a little bit worse, and it's um, some looks like rain clouds are blowing off the mainland over the coast so I don't think we're going to be going for any swims this morning. No, but it looks really pretty. You can just imagine on a clear sunny day this is all going to light up, nice turquoise colour. That's a shame, we'll have to come back on a sunnier day. Yeah, no well, it still looks it beautiful, it looks quite moody. So we've just found ourselves this really nice little um, viewpoint of the beach and uh, yeah, we're just going to chill here for a little bit because the view is pretty special. Yeah, and the waves are coming in quite big now. So I thought I'd show you some nature. <laughs> There's loads of little tiny little snails. I don't know if you can see them. Look. All holding on for dear life. So we've decided to carry on walking um, to Porthguara Beach, I think that's how you say it, um, and it's where they filmed some of the Poldark ser TV series, so, um, so we'll show you when we get there. Hannah is absolutely marching along this coastal path. I think she's hoping there's going to be a topless Poldark coming out of the ocean when she gets there. <laughs> Keep up. <laughs> she doesn't want to miss the show. I think you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> I know that you're tired, so I'm trying to keep sure, the sure, excuses. morale up. Sure, that's the excuses. We'll have a Cornish pasty so that you feel a bit happier at the end. <laughs> so we can just see the little village poking out through the um, bushes now, and then we're just going to work our way down here and um, go see. I think Hannah's promised me a Cornish pasty as well when we get down. So we'll hold her to that promise, because she's not very good at <laughs> keeping her promises. If there's any left, I guess, or if they've picked any. Wow, this is really cool. Yeah, look, and they've got all the cobbled stones, like yeah. massive trees, like, just you know, over the top. She's gone and done an absolute runner. She's just left me. I was filming and she's marched off, so who knows if we'll see her again. So is this the place then? This is the place. I think you go up there and you can see a better view. But look how far Oh, you can go down to the beach. That's cool. Should we go down there? Yeah. It's like a cave 
need to get onto the beach. <laughs> they just say the film crew could get onto the beach. <laughs> <laughs> That's a specialist. So is this the beach then? Yeah, I think so. I think you can get a view from up there as well. So there's a sign over there that says private winch and slip. Because obviously it it's a private. It says pirate. Hannah's convinced it says pirate. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. No, it says for pirates only. Private. And I was like, are you sure it says private? As if that's the most <laughs> unlogical. Do I need my eyes tested? I did get an email <laughs> yesterday saying that my eye test is true. Yeah, but I think you need it. I reckon it's pirate. Yep, maybe. Look, here comes a pirate trip. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Steak and. Steak pasty. Just steak. Oh, just steak. Yeah. With potato. Yeah. And vegetables. Tastes good? Yeah, tastes right. Is it hot? You've got to stay safe on the cliffs, otherwise this could happen to you. There's lots. So we've just found out that Cornwall has an ash no bird called a chough. And they're nesting nearby, so we'll keep our eye, our eye out for them. Spotted a chuff, <laughs> a Cornish chuff. Make a pretty got cool like, noise um, as well, don't they? Yeah, we got big, long, Orangey, red, red beaks. Already orange beaks. Look like they were searching for food. But like we speak to the one because he made a big squawk. Was he? Uh... <laughs> he was like, ah! <laughs> uh -huh. Come on. What have you done? Ouch. Got a thorn in my foot, didn't I? Oh, you kicked a whole thorn branch. Ouch. Oh, that's all. Yeah. Let's see if it's bleeding, so it's in your big toe. It's not always fun in games when you go on a walk. <laughs> Luckily, Dr. Johnny is prepared with his plasters. You have to be with this one. Always <laughs> doing something to it. Yep. Keeping him on his toes. Too busy chattering away. By damaging my toes. The saga is not over. I have another thorn in my other toe. Look at that. No tweezers and I've got it out. <laughs> You're right over the microphone. Have a look at my lovely feet. <laughs> Get it out. Oh. <laughs> quite big and quite deep. So we've just walked back um, on our way back to the van and the sun's come out when we got back to Porth, um, Chapel Beach and look how amazing it looks now. What a view. So as we said earlier, we've never been here. We don't actually know much about it. So we're just going to go have an explore and see what we find out. But the views are supposed to be amazing. And also you can watch um, shows and all sorts from here. So yeah, it should be pretty fun. And we are 
are in. <laughs> We've made it. We said earlier that um, we always say, like, do we think we're going to be underwhelmed? Mm, no. Beautiful. Like so colours, far. Amazing. Pretty impressive. Yeah, so yeah, we're just working out where to go at the moment because it's kind of a one-way system because of COVID. But um, yeah, super impressive and all the plants and the, um, yeah, I think we're in Greece. I think we somehow ended up <laughs> in the wrong country. Yeah, it's so pretty. Also, Hannah's dressed like she's going to Greece. <laughs> <laughs> I dress for the occasion. <laughs> There's so much to look at, so much colour and texture and everything. It's amazing how they've grown all of this on like the side of the rocks and stuff. It's very yeah. like alpine, kind of like it almost feels so much more tropical than. So um, many insects as well and everything, bees and honey, like bumblebees, honeybees. Yeah. It does look exactly like um, Santorini almost, doesn't it? With like all mm. the plants growing on the side of the rocks yeah, and stuff. Yeah, like all these like blankets of flowers. Yeah. And little bees and everything. That's yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? And the sun has come out this afternoon yeah, for us. I'd like a garden like this. Yeah, <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> One thing we've noticed since we've been here is that all the um, blankets of flowers and stuff just have so many bees all over them. It's like a playground for them, isn't it? It's just amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm like lost count of how many bees there are on all of the different flowers, and they smell really good. Like these ones behind us. We just want to put it in the bottle and be like. <laughs> we wanted to come here last year, but obviously with COVID, you had to get tickets. So we've got tickets for this year, and um, yeah. Definitely impressed, definitely recommend coming here. Have you decided we're going to treat ourselves? Yeah, well, I think I'm going to get a scone because we're in Cornwall. Um, and it comes with jam and um, clotted cream. What are you going to get? Chocolate ice cream. Oh, yum. Eating yum. the cream tea. <laughs> with this view. We just can't get over how it feels like we're in Greece right now. And like with Hannah walking around in her white dress and all of like the succulents growing off the rocks and like the view and everything, it just, we feel like we're back in Santorini. Yeah, mm. it's really nice. Yeah, and it was all built by, did we say this already? Uh, yeah, don't think by so. By Rowena Cade. Yeah. Who, um, basically she bought some land and a house, I think, here and built the whole um, theatre herself, basically out of rocks and timber, um, which is very impressive. Yeah, and it's like changed so much over the years. Like we were looking at the photos in the um, in the display, and like it was very like just rocky and like a few rock seats originally, and then obviously the wall happened, and then she like, up until almost her 80s, she carried on building it and carrying things up. So yeah, really what impressive. A strong woman. Yeah, I don't think I could carry the stuff up the cliffs here, but she was. Yeah, but she had a vision, I and mean, it's pretty uh, pretty impressive. Yeah, it's really really beautiful here. Oh. And Hannah's got the prime seat for tonight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Wow, can you imagine her seeing us straight from up here? Yeah. And all these seats have been like, have they all been hand? What? They've been handmade, yeah, aren't they? I think she's made all of them, yeah. It's got all like the patterns on the seats. So I think what we read is that she ran out of, well, she didn't have the money to finish with granite. So she was pretty good with concrete, so she basically just carved into all the concrete when it was drying to make all the pretty patterns. So I don't think we can get much higher in the theatre than these steps up here. These, like, the, I think these are the furthest seats, and look at the view from up here. It's crazy. When we first came in, we didn't actually realise that they had seats all the way back up there. I literally just thought the seats were just there. But it's got like seats all the way up here, and it's got like seats all the way around here as well. It's pretty impressive. And you want to go get a photo? <laughs> I want to copy that couple over there. They got really nice photos on the, with the view up the steps. So we've just got back from the um, the Millac Theatre, we're just back at the van now and we're just uh, getting ready to leave. We found a park up for tonight, we think, to do a bit of off-grid camping for tonight, which we really like to do. And uh, we've had a really nice day, we've been exploring some beaches, um, walking along sunburned. the coast. We're a little bit sunburnt and um, obviously we've really enjoyed exploring the Millac Theatre, which was really nice. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go find our park up now and probably get some dinner cooking. And if we don't speak to you then, we will sign out now and... Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one.